Check out this website to get cheap banner coins. Type in the code LAUNCH to get 5% off. Your boy. What's up, gamers? It's your boy. Launchpad 1412. Excited to be back with some more Madden 19 gameplay here. We got an online ranked match versus a random opponent. My opponent has the Seattle Seahawks. I have the Buccaneers. Seattle Seahawks is not picked um, that often, even though they're a pretty good team for some reason. I'm not really sure what it is, man. This is a team that doesn't have the best offensive line in real life, but on this game, man, their offensive line, or at least in this game, their offensive line is, is immaculate, man. Passion fake on fourth down at two. We end up hitting Mike Evans, and we get more than two yards. We get a huge game right here. I thought I was going to score, but we end up getting tackled, I believe, at the 14 or 15-yard line. Scoring to the right-hand side. I see somebody wide open on my right there. <laughs> I go running again. I'm up and kind of hot the last couple games. I'm kind of hot, but I'm, I'm not as hot this game as I was the last couple games. Because <laughs> I was on fire the last couple games, man. But but um, I, I did get 356 yards uh, with, with the bearded one. So we're going to see a, that way equate to a victory as we almost get an interception right there. I'm like, man, you got to be kidding me, man. I couldn't believe I didn't get that interception, but. My opponent got a nice dot on the last play. Good run right here by Rashard Penny, I believe. I believe that's Rashard Penny. Don't quote me on that. Next play, first down to 10. He goes over the middle. This guy was very efficient with the ball. I was doing a lot of um, exotic, I guess you can kind of call them exotic um, blitzes. And even though know, we get the fumble right here, man, we got so lucky with this fumble. That is Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson does not fumble that much when he, when he runs the ball. But we threw a pick right here. That was my bad. I didn't see that guy, man. You know, he got a lot of dark stuff going on right there. As far as, I'm not really sure why they did the fires that shade. I'm not really sure why they did that. You know, I mean, it's kind of cool, but at the same breath, it's kind of like, man, um, certain parts of the field I can't really see. And then these guys, this guy got these like dark blue, you know, jerseys on. You know, that makes it a little bit difficult to see on my opponent. Of course, if I would have seen him, I wouldn't have threw that interception. We had a nice pass right here over the middle. My goodness, man, the Humphreys good catch. But Humphreys would keep the chain moving left hand side. We give it to Jones. I tried to score right there, but I didn't realize there were so many guys in that area. Third down and two, one of my favorite plays um, when we get down to the goal line. That play is usually like on the money. I, I'm usually, I'm like eight for ten of that play. We end up not getting right there. So I'll take another field goal. It bring us only down one point. You know, so no big deal. Point scrolls to the right hand side. It's a beautiful run right here. Jukes me out. He probably could have kept running. I mean, he decided to dive, but I probably would have kept running because the guy that well, he do got those suction tackles though, man. <laughs> those suction tackles are off the chain as he runs again, man. I mean, Russell Wilson, he's just gonna run sometimes, you know. And he's and he's gonna be a beast. It don't matter whether you got a spy there or not. I mean, he still can get past a lot of spies. That his juke move on this game. Um, terrifying. I'm telling you that right now. I know that firsthand. Trust me. First down to go. Opponent tries to score, and he does. He or she does. It could be a woman. You never know. Trying to beat me in this bat. <laughs> He's up 14 to 6. I, I drop back. I don't see nobody, so I throw to the guy on the left-hand side. This is a play before the half. It's so hard to score when everybody drops their uh, players back. I, that's why I do it. You know, my suggestion, drop everybody back. Drop everybody back, especially when you don't want someone to score deep before the half, before the end of the game. It's, it's like, it's, it's, it's for me, it's paramount. Somebody get him! Nobody gets him. He's a scoring him. This is the first guy to ever run a kickoff return on me in the game this year. And it's Tyler Lockett. Why not, man? You know, Tyler Lockett is a beast as far as running uh, running kickoff returns. So it makes a lot of sense. As we go deep to Deshaun Jackson right here. I thought I had to score, but this guy tackled me right there. I'm like, man, my goodness, man. This little brother scored. So we're down 21 to 6, 15 points left hand side. Dot. Let's go, man. We ended up getting a huge dot right there, man. That play was crazy right there. I usually don't throw that in that type of of, of coverage, man. But it, it looked like I had a slither of holes up to try to slide it in there. And we got we got a little lucky right there. So we ended up taking that score. But I'll take it, man. So 21-13, we only down eight. It's just kind of funny that we're down eight after everything that's happening. This guy just keeps dotting me up, man. I don't know why I kept hitting him with these blitzes, man. But... I wanted to try some new blisters out, and some of the blisters that I do use normally uh, wasn't working either. I mean, look at this immaculate block, and I'm like, man, the blocking is just inside. I mean, this guy practically could get whatever he want with this block, and I, maybe it's because I have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I don't know. We stop him right there on the third down at two, and he misses this field goal. What luck. I mean, this guy is too good to miss that field goal. He's really too good to miss that field goal. So we got lucky, man. All this, all this stuff that's been going his way, He's been basically outplaying me this game. And we're only down eight. We have an opportunity at the top of the fourth quarter 
to get uh, to, to tie this ball game up. We get a huge play right there. And we're going to try to take advantage. First down and 10. We go to the right-hand side. I believe that's Cameron Brown. The good catch man keeping the chains moving. First down and 10. I did not see this guy right there. I did not see that guy. I got to be honest with you. I did not see him. If I would have seen him, I would have just hit my running back my wide on the right-hand side. I knew he was open. You guys know I'm famous for hitting that wide open um, running back. Brothers on the left or the right hand side, but I thought I had a touchdown. That once again, that shade man kind of got me right there. I'm gonna be honest, that shade kind of got me right there. <laughs> my opponent because a huge game. Thought he was gonna score, and if he scores right there, that's definitely the game. As it keeps the chain moving, giving us a Rashad Penny on that second down right there. Third down and four. He, he stays in the middle, goes to the left a little bit, and he finds. Look at this. I'm like, man, you gotta be kidding me, man. Somebody get him. Where is my blitz at? This guy has all day the whole game. I don't think I sacked him the whole game. Like Russell Wilson on the average is taking like six sacks a game in real life. I cannot sack this guy in this game for the life of me, man. And um, to me, that really made the difference. That made the huge difference in this game. I, I really couldn't apply um, any pressure. Couldn't apply any pressure. I didn't get the interception early. Then I threw the one interception because I didn't. The first interception I threw, look at the huge play right here. Right before the uh, game in. I thought we was going to score right there. And this guy was getting some key tackles, man. This guy was getting some... Really, really um, key tackles. Um, he had a little bit more luck than me in this game, but he also outplayed me this game, man. He, he really played better than I did, especially as far as throwing the ball, man. Um, you know, with time like that, if you're good, man, you're just not. You just it's just gonna be too hard to beat people like this if you have that much time. And I know I got. I know the Buccaneers are like really good as far as you no, know, their linebackers are good as far as coverage. And uh, you know what I mean. So maybe I should have been. I should have been dropping guys. I'm back a little bit more. Maybe he wouldn't have had. Uh, maybe he would have been that efficient. Would have been able to get down the field um, so easily. So um, that's something. Um, I usually make that adjustment. What I didn't in this game, and my opponent, you know, capitalized on a shout out to he or she for that. Um, I think this is an opponent that is a uh, that is worthy of saying that we played a seven game series. I think it would go. Um, seven. I think it would go seven. You know, I know y'all used to be saying I probably beat that opponent in five or six games, but I think that this one would go seven with this opponent. Just the way. You know, he or she played um, the game. It, it, even though the blocking was immaculate, you still got to have enough poise to throw. It's not easy, man, to throw that ball to the right person at the right time, knowing that, um, knowing how often you can get sacked in this game. I, I think out of all the years I've ever played Madden, I don't think I've ever been sacked more than this year, man. I mean, that serious, man. Like, my goodness. Especially when you play against the Rams or the Jaguars, man. It's just inevitable. You're going to get sacked four or five times. Ain't nothing too much you can do about it, man. You just got to accept it, man. But shout out to my opponent. And shout out to my subscribers. You guys are the greatest subscribers on the planet. This is your boy, Launchpad1412. And I'm out.